a blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live streaming at the di Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today, we celebrate Monday of the octave, Easter octave. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alfredo Rullion Jr. SVD. Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our resurrected Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Well, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good, good morning, morning, Father. And happy Easter sa inyong lahat. Happy Easter, Easter Father. Uh, patuloy natin ipagdiriwang ang pagkaboy na maguli ng ating Panginoong Sokristo. And we are in this octave to highlight the importance of this event. As we are gathered together, we now prepare our hearts to receive God through His divine word and His body and blood. We call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are the children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David, that he died and was buried and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus of this we are all witnesses. Exalted to the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for you in for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad, my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Oh, 
sa iyo mga salita. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. Wikain mo o nakikinig ako sa iyo mga salita. Aleluya, Aleluya, Aleluya. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed and ran to announce the news to his disciples and behold jesus met them on their way and greeted them they approached embraced his feet and did him homage then jesus said to them do not be afraid go tell my brothers to go to galilee and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest that all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep and if this gets to the ears of the governor we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed and this story has circulated among the jews to the present day The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good morning to everybody. There were two reactions or feelings that are evident in our readings and the theme of the gospel. Una yung fear. Fear. Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Ano ba ang kanilang kinakatakutan? Well, we may speculate that they're afraid because they saw Jesus died on the cross. They saw how the authority during that time was overpowering them. They were indeed afraid. At nung pumunta si na Mary Magdalene and Mary, ay nadagdagan pa ang kanilang takot noong makita nila na walang laman ang Libingan. Hindi pa nila naintindihan nun ang pagkabuhay na maguli. Much more ay ang pagkabuhay na maguli ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Takot. May takot sa kanilang puso. O tayo, balot na balot tayo ng takot. Ngayong mga panahong ito, and many will say, well, that's a valid reason for us to be afraid. Sila, yun, ang takot na nagmula sa pagkamatay ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. But as I said, Jesus was there to meet them and tell them, do not be afraid. 
do not be afraid. And so in our prayers, we ask the Lord, Lord, remove this fear in my heart or in our hearts. Fear of the future, fear of what will happen. And sa tingin ko, yung overwhelming na fear is the fear of death. But then, the other feeling or the other reaction that they have is the joy. They were overjoyed. Very typical ngayon, lalo na sa ating mga nasa social media, yung nakakakita tayo ng mga posts, ng mga pictures, ng events in the past. Pag nakakita kayo ng gathering, titingnan niyo muna kung kailan ba kinuha yung picture. O imposible ngayon. Kasi walang mga face mask. Imposible ngayon kasi ang daming tao sa mga beaches. Imposible ngayon kasi ay parang walang kinakatakutan ang mga tao sa pictures. Lalo na mga pictures ng family. Reunions, celebrations. At ang mga reaction dyan ay kailan kaya mauulit ito? I remember a boy who recited a poem about COVID. Pag wala ng COVID, yun ang kanyang tula. And he really recited it na he was looking forward to what will happen after all of this are gone. Kung anong gagawin niya, kung anong mangyayari. At itong ating mga disciples, maybe they have in their mind, kapag nabuhay na muli ang ating Panginoon. Though, of course, the human reaction, the human feeling, ay naandoon pa rin. But then, this Easter became the source of their joy. At sa ating lahat, ay ganun din ang isa sa mga mensahe ng pagkabuhay na maguli ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. Na ang pagkabuhay na ito ay pagbubukalan ng ating tuwa, ng ating ligaya. And then Jesus sent them to share the joy of Easter, to share the good news, to remind others also that do not be afraid. At one point, inalis ang pinanggagalingan ng kanilang saya. Tayo, pag inalis ang pinanggagalingan ng saya, ay di siyempre tayo ay malulungkot din. Sa kanila, at a brief moment, Jesus was taken away. Jesus was lying in the tomb. But on that morning, the tomb was empty. The Lord has risen indeed. At paulit-ulit yan, aagawin, aagawin ang source ng kaligayahan natin, ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. The truth behind the resurrection. It was mentioned here that the soldiers have their version of what happened. In, influenced by a bribe, influenced by the authorities, that this is what you are to say. His disciples came by night and stole him while he were, we were asleep. And they said that, well, until now, this story has circulated among them. But on the other side, there is another story that is still circulating right now. Nung Sabado ng gabi at kahapon at ngayong isang season ng Easter ay patuloy nating sasabihin ang istoryang yan. That Jesus is risen from the dead. 
Nagbibira nga kami sa dahil. Sabi ko, be ready for this Easter season kasi paulit-ulit din nating ibabahagi ang pagkabuhay ng magawali ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. But more than the storytelling is how these disciples of Jesus lived their lives until the end. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon na, do not be afraid, then they went on to share their version of the story. At may nabasa akong isang reflection, sabi niya rito, What has given the Christian version the edge is not the meticulous historical work of scholars or the arguments of the theologians, but the fact that the proponents of the Christian version, yan, ang ating binabasa ngayon, is the Christian version, their followers have been and still are prepared to die for that version. One time I went to our mother house in style, Holland. And one of the halls there contains the picture of so many missionaries labeled as martyrs. Yung sa atin kasi ang na beatified ay apat. But more than the four are those not so remembered martyrs, including their more likely are not so remembered missionaries who have their stories in life. And also that their life became stories of how Jesus was resurrected from the dead. The witness of the Christian life lived to the full is the best apologetic for the resurrection. And it's true, or I hope that will be true to all of us, that the way we live our Christian life be part of the storytelling that we will share about this Jesus who rose from the dead, this Jesus who have beaten the darkness and gave us the light that will guide us, that will shine in our lives to guide us, to bring us to that true joy brought by the Easter, brought by Jesus when he rose from the dead. Let us now present our needs to God the Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory. And so we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the church may be renewed in the recent Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For that the government officials may not fear to live by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to find cure as soon as possible so that those already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the peace of our risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed, having died with Christ, may share in his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
God, our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts and bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your peoples that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But above all, in this time, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Lord. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Vanessa, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the risen Lord who told us not to be afraid. Behold him, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Shine in our hearts, shine to the darkness. Christ, we are God, shine in your church, gather Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque. Pray, pray for, for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray, pray for, for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadimitz. Pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the good news of salvation. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.